a new adventure and a new adventure a new adventure embarking into the next era of star wars how long has it been it's more than a year right i think it's been more than a year if we're not including the star wars visions thing which we're not including which we haven't seen not. so in that sense <laughs> yeah. well that lived and died instantly i don't know that anyone talks about nobody it. talks about it anymore yeah, yeah well, so. thing that everyone said it's the most amazing incredible thing that's happened to star wars in so long and it's so amazing what? And then no one gives a fuck anymore. <laughs> is that not is that not comparable with a lot of the the output? Well, that's just like, consumers today. Marvel and and shows like on Disney Plus because people don't really talk about like how many people say, "Man, remember in episode two of season two of Mando how like they had to deal with those spiders?" That was that episode, I think. Yeah. I, mean, I remember better. <laughs> it was like, yeah, that was a crazy episode with the frog lady and getting her over. To, you know, it's so tense. Like nobody really talks about anything that happens in this. But they sure show. adored say, it at the time. They were like, at you the say time, frog lady. I say I say gecko gal. Gecko might be more appropriate. But the point is. <laughs> Nobody really talks about what's going on with her anymore, and that's a shame. They could watch like five seasons of Mando, and then you could ask them what season they're on. They'd be like, "Uh, are we on a f I'm watching four Mando. now, six? I'm watching, I don't, I don't even." Yeah. I was watching Mando going adventures. Yeah, jumping around, jetpacking around, and shoot, shoot, shoot. It is entirely about the discourse and the hype at the time, but then afterwards, it's gone, and that's not what I want for mm -hmm. stories. This is peak of cynicality. Cynic cynicalism? What's what are we? What's the word here? Um, <laughs> what would peak cynicism. Cynicism. Peak that's cynicism. probably it. Yeah. The book of Boba Fett, which some people might be like, "What are you? What are you talking about?" And it's like, well, it's a character that had no character beyond very straightforward and a couple of references. I've defended Surface him in the past factor. when people say he doesn't have characters. Like he does. He's just not on screen for very long, and you get to know him very, very quickly, and then he's gone. What pulled him through was his awesome design and helmet. Right, and then and then George Lucas was like, "Let me have another one in prequels. And it'll be his dad." Hey, there you go. Django got to do a little bit more, and then I think he got picked up in third party stuff and and games, and has since. I, I think I don't know if I remember talking to you guys about this, but in one of the trailers, one of the top comments was like, "Finally, Boba Fett's gonna get the respect he deserves." They consider the Sarlacc pit thing disrespect, which is interesting. In a sense, like, I try to think about what I think about that event, right? Because that's that's the Boba Fett thing that thing happened that everyone's like, hmm, he shouldn't have been killed that way. And it's just like, well... Well, you, you saw him for five minutes before that, maybe. Not I even. I guess it's... The I feel like it's a clear example of there is an idea in our heads of a really cool character that we now don't get because he fell into that pit. But we live in the era of, no, he didn't. He didn't fall into that pit. He's okay. He got out. He's all he right. He got out of the pit. He's well, Because I was going to say, like, is it not valuable to have this bounty hunter that's merciless and managed to destroy like the connection our our team had and work for darth vader and also be a mercenary for jabba you're like oh god and he looks so intimidating he's got a rocket the blasters the armor and he gets killed because his jetpack malfunctions while han solo blindly hits him by accident like is there not an idea there of like yeah like a fucking badass brother there he goes because that's how simple it can be sometimes or is that mm -hmm. too insulting because it's a different kind yeah. of... Uh, some people it's might even... not satisfying. Yeah. Um, and it makes me think about all the deaths in media that are kind of deliberately unsatisfying and thus satisfying in some way. Uh, I don't know how I feel about Boba, De Boba Deads, Boba Fetts. It's, uh, it's a strange one. It's always been a strange one. Everyone who's ever seen it is like, oh, that's <laughs> I it. I guess that's it. And um, I know there's theories of, like, George hated him, and so that's why he did that. I find that strange. That's the theory, is it? The yeah, George yeah. Boba yeah, Fett. yeah, I heard. I think he, he hated, hated how Boba popular Fett. Boba Fett became when he was supposed to just be a small character. Um, but Which that's, is weird. You think you'd have the that's opposite a weird reaction. Thing to hate. Yeah. Well, like that people did. love this little character I made. Wow, that's great. But th this situation is just uh, yeah. So some people see like the death as petty, and it's like uh, it might be. I was just trying to look at it from just the film's point of view, which is that look at how the mighty fall. It's the jetpack malfunction. Which you, if you guys remember, they actually reincorporated that in season two of Mando. What are you gonna do? I don't know, but wish me luck. <laughs> That jetpacks malfunction if you hit them. It's like, okay, I guess that's just something they do now. A design oversight that we've never tried to All fix. All jetpacks are the same model, <laughs> yep. the same make. Regardless, oh, well. seeing him back in Mando, everyone went nuts. 
And so Disney were like, right, we can make a show with him, go. Really, Mandalorian was just diet Boba Fett anyway. They couldn't do Django, I guess, because he was dead. Even though they could do, like, a prequel show, I guess. But Which Boba Fett I is... I wouldn't rule it out at this point. Well, and the funny part is, I think there's more potential, possibly, but... Um, because of that universe. That I guess, in a period. sense, there's infinite potential with both of them, right? Because there's so much time they've been alive that you can use. And with Tamura Morrison's age, I imagine you can better do this. This better suits the, the era we're going for, which is Mandalorians, which is post-OT pre-sequels. So, if we were set to make this show, what are, you, what are we doing? And it's like, well, gotta look at every scene that he's even in, in the OT, and then figure out what we can do with the small pieces we know about him. And it, it was funny, he was trying to come up with things, I was like, so he likes women, he, he, he's flirting with some at one point, he, he, he's clearly a fan of money, to the point where he doesn't want his cargo in any kind of damage to depreciate it in any way. And he'll seemingly work as any job, but, you know, including but not limited to uh, just hunting people down. That could be good guy, could be but Like, it doesn't seem that he gives a shit. Um, in Mando, he's like a honorable man, and like, I will help for the good of goodness, sort of. He seems to be a good guy. The child's gone. Till he has returned to you safely, we are in your debt. Like, rather than a neutral guy. I would know what happened, what occurred to sort of flip him on this... Uh... Well, and I was I saying it free, like, it already seems like if you were trying to do that with him that you'd have to justify it, because, like, he's very straightforward, and to say, like, oh, well, he's uh, he's fighting for honor or something, I'd be like, was he that? Was that his thing? I don't, I don't know if it would be. He's going to respect his opponents, too. That's what the trailer for this had, and it was like, okay. Jabba ruled with fear. I intend to rule with respect. If he had spoken such insolence to Jabba, He'd have fed you to his menagerie. Please. Speak freely. Like, it wouldn't surprise me if Boba Fett used the fact that he's got all these gadgets and weaponry to outplay his opponents rather than having, like, some kind of, of equal playing field, you know? Yeah, I just feel like bounty hunters who try to do that don't live long. We're yeah, gonna and, fight and, evenly and fairly. It's like, oh, so you're gonna just... no. And so, just to make sure everyone's up to speed, he made a robotic stomach for Fennec... Shand, is it? Fennec? Strand? Oh, it's Strand or Shand or something. Just a sniper lady. And so she owes him a life debt, meaning she's with him all the time. I'm glad they brought back that dull, boring asshole. Yeah, uh, it's gonna be great. And then, of course, he... I don't get why they do that. These characters who are just nothings, and they bring them back when they're all just so dull, and no one's interesting. I was gonna say, I was actually gonna ask if you could remind me what even what even are her characteristics. She's sniper lady, that's all I really know. I don't think she even... Maybe this will be her like... opportunity to become something. Because <laughs> she couldn't in the two seasons of Mando, so <laughs> let's see what mm -hmm. we can do here. Well, because you come into this show and you think, okay, so if the premise is Boba Fett's gonna create his criminal empire, we have a formula that could be different from Mando, where Mando's is two action scenes at least every episode. The plot is usually self-contained per episode and a couple of serialized ones. What if we do full serialized here, where we have big arcs for these characters over the course of several episodes? Mm -hmm. That would be cool. Is that what we're going to do, though? Well, <laughs> I don't know. Well enough, uh, I think it was a super chat on Real BBC, but me and Az had the same response, which to someone saying, "Do you think um, they're gonna like fully explore the time from being eaten by the Sarlacc to getting out to what he did next, what he did next, what he did next?" And I was like, "Going from the trailer, looks like we're not doing that at all." But I wouldn't rule out a flashback, um, or just a whole flashback episode, even you know, maybe even that. Yeah, but like I just it's it, it it's almost amusing to me because I'm just like, yeah, this is peak giving the fans what they want, I suppose, which is, he got out of that Salak, okay? Fucking, he fucked it up. He blew it up. He used his pistols, his flamethrower, his jetpack. He got out of there, he fucked it up, and he's badass, okay? You're like, all right. All right. Yeah, Cause... just, sure. Um... <laughs> so, if we say so. I have a feeling we will at least get the flashback of him breaking out of it, and it'll be spectacular in some way, right? Like Maybe, yeah. Um, At least to confirm he got out. I... But I don't know if they would save that maybe for um, later rather than doing it early. But then again, it could it could be the way that they open the show, to be honest with you. Who knows? It's, I, uh, it's maybe this show will defy expectations. Maybe. So yeah, I, was just, I guess I wanted to say quickly, like, it's just if we were making this season, what would you want to make it about? And it's just like, I just don't know how much we have to work with. He's going to try and make an empire at Tatooine that uh, a little 
little crime lord empire and hopefully deal with whoever's going to get in his way. I assume that's all we got to work with. I assume that he's going to have to go to a lot of Jabba's old contacts and workers and say, all right, you're going to work for me now. I am the new guy in charge. Here's why you want to work for me. He goes to Pete from person to person to person, contact to contact, and he needs to establish his network. He needs to make sure the people who don't fall in line are either forced to or made an example of. He and needs maybe to... the arc, you know, of this story is you were a bounty hunter and you were really good at it. Being a leader is different. And so you need yeah. to cultivate a new set of skills. I don't want to work rely... in administration. I want to work in shipping, God damn it! Well, yeah, it's just, you know, be pretty cool I... If he ends up, like, <laughs> giving up cool. the position, you know? He's going to give and it to Finnick. deferring it to someone else. And saying, like, I want to be on missions. I don't want to be fucking sitting yeah. here telling people where to go. Maybe what I thought I wanted for a long time that I wanted to work towards. Maybe I, maybe it was already, maybe I was doing what I wanted to do and what well, I, you know, the whole time. Maybe he's tired of it. what amuses me yeah. is that, that ending part of Mando Season 2 where it's just like, and then he went to Tatooine and killed Bib Fortuna and took the, the fucking throne. And you're like, oh... Did oh, okay. He, well, that's that what was he easy. wanted. It's not even. It's, I, I literally didn't even know that's what he wanted. I was just like, oh. Neither did I. Honestly, it just came out of nowhere. And so now we're dealing with that as being like, well, that was what he wanted. Apparently, okay. okay well, so now just what like, do with it? well, just like um, Boba Fett crawled out of the Sarlacc. Bib Fortuna crawled out of the exploded wreckage of the sail barge <laughs> so that he could get killed again, but okay. not really, but again. <laughs> he pulled a Palpatine. Somehow Bib Fortuna returned. But yeah, that's, I don't know what other pre preamble is we're going to need. I figure this will be as good as the Mandalorian seasons, which were pretty bad. Oh boy, um, yeah, they were terrible. I expect lots of plot armor. I expect lots. characters are just going to be doing combat. whatever needs doing Her to get them to the yeah. payoffs they want. Plot um, carried through by contrivance. Basically no characters acting in logical ways. The action is going to be shit. Let's and if anyone out. says, but it's Robert Rodriguez, like, that was his vi episode, episode 6 of Mandalorian Season 2, and it was terrible. It was terrible. So, yeah, we'll see. Um, Tamura Morrison, though, that's neat. I'm glad we, neat. he's got himself a show. Oh, jeez. Remember when that got you excited? <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember the last time. It might have been the prequels. Literally, like, Revenge of the Sith, because I fucking loved that when I first saw him. It might have been... I mean, might have been TFA. TFA was a weird experience for me. I still remember partially just being, like, almost blown away that it was happening and uh, yeah, hadn't slotted yeah. in yet with my perception of Star Wars. It was more so this other thing, but I certainly didn't think it was bad at the time. I really liked it. <laughs> How foolish I was. How foolish. This is probably a good start, you know? Tatooine. It's all nice it shots. Nice and clean, too. The most, you know, relatively. Cool. That chair looks uncomfortable. It does. Yeah. And it must be purpose built for Bib Fortuna, right? Because it wouldn't be for Jabba. <laughs> He's in a Bacta tank. I know them. Ooh, Camino. Oh, wow. That looks good. It does. You could, It's funny to compare to the... Pre oh, shit. Oh, wow. I actually used the prequel footage. Well, yeah, because Mandalorian was the first one to stop being like, okay, the prequels aren't actually that cringe, maybe. <laughs> like, yeah. We gotta move to... up to the Sarlacc, then? Oh! Yeah. Wow. There he is. Oh, the flesh looks great. Spoopy. Oh, I don't know about that. <laughs> what if I get... Yeah, that's... I mean... Bid yourself, bro. Well... He crawled through the sand? Damn. I guess he escaped the... Yeah, there you go. I didn't think they'd do it this fast, but... Fuck it. But he loses all of his stuff, right? So how does that happen? Oh, the shit helmet. It looks cooler. It does look cooler. Oh, they all have great themes. Yeah. <laughs> they have so much money <laughs> to make these. That's... Okay. So the the Jawas are here to, for the sound of the barge, aren't they? So they'll take his stuff as well. Which that, makes sense. That, that works. basically everything they can. Yeah. Yeah. Makes sense. The, the point that we've been reduced to, hey, it would make <laughs> sense that they would do this. And take this stuff. Well, because I was gonna say, just like it would be really unlucky to come across Jawas for the moment you're knocked out. But then again, it's like, well, there's a reason they're here because of the barge. Damn. 
I want a shoe. Oh my god, is this Dune Part 2? Well, it's, TV shows are so pretty <laughs> these days, aren't they? They, should, they oh, really sure. are. Not a good day for him. Well, good week. He helped you. <laughs> you should appreciate- Oh, what's happened to his head? Is that the sand that did that, or like someone else? I don't know, maybe it's just years of maybe he battle always had damage. This we never saw it beforehand. Yeah. What was it? Well, I guess it wouldn't make sense to say so. Oh, okay. Take this carrot, James. The squirty carrot. <laughs> Is there Take room for another guy on there? <laughs> wow. <laughs> A POV shot? Well, <laughs> if that works, I guess. The friction, though, jeez. Hard I know you're not going that this. fast, but it's sand. It's coarse, and it is rough. It gets everywhere. I imagine at this point, he's like, things are going to get better now, right? Well, I'm not eating. <laughs> Unless they're going to eat me. I don't know now. Stranger in a strange land. Be curious That's how, how I feel burn. being a Star Wars X fan. Yeah. Also, that oh sound gosh, effect. Oh my gosh, this is That's the stock sound effect. I wish Anakin killed you, you little shit. <laughs> he did, he killed my dad. Look. Oh. Oh, I hate Jedi too. And then they bond over their hatred of Jedi. Yeah. Why would you, why? Yeah, this why would you do this stop. to me? You're so cruel. And mean. All these children. You're hitting me with a sack! We Why is there a tree him. out here? Why is there a tree out here? What are you drinking? <laughs> How are you drinking? How was he drinking that? <laughs> don't think about it. Do you think he wasn't? And he was just trying to look like he was? To look like, I don't care. Yeah, man, oh, we're uh, we're really making Boba suffer, huh? First day. <laughs> He's like a Greedo, but red. What are they burning? For tree Santa logs, poop? isn't it? From their tree. <laughs> or from all the trees out here. <laughs> Look like tree boulders. Oh. Is the doggo... Does it understand the concept of knots? And it's like, and you're undoing time. your knots, stop. <laughs> <laughs> I can see you getting closer. Look, this Look, guy's just watching it. Like... <laughs> oh shit, okay. What? Oh. Alright. So what was the idea Sneak, with the dog? Was it just gonna kill him? Cause yeah, cause he was moving around a bit. I thought they wouldn't want to kill him. Is no one else watching him? I guess they're all no asleep. One, no one hear that? You gotta have someone on duty. Okay. Do you want me to cut your bones? You gonna say no? Oh! Fuck him up, Boba. Throw him in the fire. Oh, it's a kid. Oh my god! You'd think Anakin might have had that reaction. <laughs> Uh oh. Um. Where are you going? Good luck, what is, I guess. What's the act, what is what is actually the plan here, Boba Fett, Master Bounty Hunter? Do you want to get a hostage, or do you want to sneak around and get a bantha, or? I guess he didn't have much of a choice. I don't know. Oh damn. No. Oh, that looked bad. We slept dressed. <laughs> this thing is mm. shit. What are we doing? Oh, they impressed, maybe? Maybe. You yeah. hit it a few times with your stick. That is very <laughs> impressive. Oh, now we gotta do a duel? Oh, she's gonna kick his ass. Well, that's not woman. fair, is it? It's it's a girl bounty hunter. She's gonna beat well, his ass. Look at, she's got sharp stuff there, see? But it's I mean, just stick. he can overpower her, right? Because he's bigger. Yeah. No, this is Star Wars. Rags, I Women believe it's Robert Rodriguez. Men. Maybe we'll have a chance. <laughs> I mean, I'm curious. He's supposed to be a skilled fighter. He's Boba Fett, legendary bounty hunter. I mean, he does have only a stick, though. It's he not does a particularly only have a stick. I guess it stick. depends on what happens. Oh. oh. Jesus Christ. <laughs> What's happening? I just want him to grab his stick. Like him grab it with your hands. Man, I'm starting to wonder how he's not unconscious. If you remember, he was using one of them when he turned up in Mando Season 2, so maybe the idea here is he's gonna join this clan. Yeah, and then he earns it or something. Yeah. 
What was the point of all this? What was the point of that, yeah? I don't know. Other than to show that he's shit? Well, maybe he'll beat her at the at some point, you know? And so the axe is... Maybe. Letting us know that he's maybe. progressing. You could probably kick his ass, too. Maybe you'll have a nightmare at the beginning of every episode. I suppose this is their argument for why he's gonna not have it as many scars this time around. The sure. back has removed them. Less makeup, you know? They're lined up to pay respects. I'll let them know you're And I'm pretty sure way. he's lost weight for this role, so good stuff. Yeah, he That's looks cool. good. You could put that on yourself. Knee rockets! <laughs> Knee rockets! <laughs> Knee rockets, oh my god. <laughs> why stop there, Boba? Where are your elbow rockets? So the thing about Mando armor in general, there's so many missing pieces. Ooh, money. No, no, they're chocolate. Oh. <laughs> they're chocolate money coins, yeah. <laughs> I love those. Did you catch any of that? Something about friendship? Jabba has a translator Get a droid. robot. Fuck off. Is that a Wookiee pelt? To the new daimyo. It's an honor to be welcomed to Mos Espa by you, Dr. Strassi. Mog Shays, mayor of Mos Espa and its surrounding plateaus. We were told the mayor was coming to pay tribute. Ah, indeed, yes. With apologies, I understand how one might draw such a conclusion from the correspondence. So you bring no tribute? The mayor's heartfelt welcome. If you had spoken such insolence to Jabba, He'd have fed you to his menagerie. I'm just a messenger. Are there not rules for killing Apologies. previous leaders? There is one other matter, if I may. The matter of tribute. I'm confused. He wants you to pay him. Yeah, thank you! <laughs> I'm the crime lord. He's supposed to pay me. Shall oh, man. Come? Lord Fett offers the gift of your leave unmolested. Hmm. I'm confused as to... I would not be surprised if you receive another delegation in the near future. These two Gamorians were once bodyguards to Jabba the Hutt. Yes! Gamorian guards! Yes. 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 They the did species. not surrender. They were captured alive as a tribute to you, Lord Fett. Their tortured squeals will send a piercing message to all potential challengers to your throne. I recognize that voice. A good evening! Go back to your own country. What the fuck? He's as mad as a wax banana. How are we gonna kill a whole wolf pack with just three silver bullets? It's worse than that, we don't even have a gun. They were captured alive as a tribute to you, Lord Fett. I do not torture. Respectfully, Lord Fett, on Tatooine, you must project strength if you are to be accepted as a daimyo. Would you be loyal to me if I were to spare you? <laughs> oh, all right then. All right, well, all right, takes care of that. This is a bad idea. No, it isn't. Why is that a bad idea? It's a good idea. Why? This what is a really it, good idea. This is a good it idea. It means that if there's anybody who's holding out against you, you just be like, dude, I'm not going to kill you. You can work for me. You, you want to be like, if you are working with me, and if you do what I say, I will reward you. If you fuck me over, yeah. I will kill you horribly. You have to give people a reason to be your ally and a reason not to go against you. I'm not being carried around. Oh, Boston Dynamics robot. Yay. Sign they of power really are, aren't they? <laughs> they it's basically are. just our boss to dynamics <laughs> robots. No, he's gonna do things his own way. Oh, oh yeah, look, look at him! It's uh, the blue guy. <laughs> Glad didn't he's he, doing what he loves. Didn't he blow up on the barge? I guess no, he's the no, blue he, guy. He lived. He, he survived. <laughs> with mid Fortuna. Did you watch Robot Chicken? He survived. <laughs> hey, it could be his brother. It could be, but it could be him, and I prefer to think that. Would you like your helmet serviced and clean while you wait for Madame Garcia? No. Sure. Yeah, take this. They said you want us to clean it. No, Fuck no. It's so the actor doesn't have to carry it around everywhere. But yeah. that's so silly. I know. Yeah, like, well, no thanks. Sense. I'll hold on to it. Not only do I think they wouldn't offer that service, he wouldn't give up his fucking helmet. I don't get how legally it was chill that he just killed a boss and took his place. Yeah, there seems I guess to be some okay kind of that. system here. And yeah, and you'd have people chomping at the bit to take over. I was gonna what? say, how is it one not guy happening? walked in and killed Java? Oh, we're taking over. Yeah, let's go, guys. <laughs> Huh. Yours looks shinier than mine. Could you give it to me in a bag, anything. please? I need to put this back <laughs> on my head. I can make the rounds. Why are you just doing give a bag? Don't Where you have people chambers. to do this? You, you're, just, you're walking out in the open <laughs> market as a, a new crime money, lord really. with a bunch of money and no times. helmet. With no helmet. Fear. Yeah. They'll probably shoot the helmet, though. They probably will. Oh, here we go. Yeah, there Action you go. scene, boys. Put the helmet on. Do it. Put the helmet on. Jeez, where have these been? That was a really fucking stupid thing to do. Brilliant. 
You're smart. Oh, and there's the right, helmet. And now they're taking all your money. Oh, those are shit. They just inconvenience you if they touch just you. Just fly! Yeah. Also, guys, what are you doing? Just, you just keep poking until they eventually fall over? Is that the idea? Uh, do you want to inconvenience yeah, them? <laughs> do you just want to be like, what oh, this will tickle. Fly! <laughs> okay. Yeah, kick it. Do kick, anything. Yeah, kick is a great idea. Are you kidding oh, me? Hands. The Gamorrean <laughs> guard. That guy's shield just stopped, by the way. And now they're all stopped. All, all, their, all of their shields are stopped. Yes, I totally believe the Gamorrean saved the day. Look God. at him go. Look at him go. <laughs> Look at him. It wouldn't be a Star Wars TV show if there weren't nonsensical like violence. Absolute crap uh, choreography. Oh no, we Oh run. no, we give up. We give up. Um, that was too tough for we, us. We, we're, we've been beat. Come on, you're the sniper. This is... Uh, what? Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> he just disappeared. <laughs> he just disappeared. <laughs> he just actually disappeared. He vaporized. He death starred. Justin, yeah, that would have been You could have gone straight through. Far. There's a hole. You can just go straight through. Throwing knives? That. What are oh. you doing? The guns exist in this universe! <laughs> Why don't they have They're guns? They're readily available. I thought she just... Where'd she go? Oh, oh she's around the other side. Okay, then. Throw more knives at her. She's gonna beat them. No, those those suck. Don't even bother. Oh, you got tickled, and now you have to go into your... But what a fucking <laughs> pussy. <laughs> It just feels like we get so little story content, like in Mando and now it looks like in this, where it's like we get 10 minutes of talking for 20 minutes of like fights and spectacle. Yeah, I'm expecting we talking should- Talking doesn't like mean anything. We'll finish on I one more fight now, right? I just wish we had more scenes of people talking to each other, you know? Oh, it's the bad guys from the Mando place. Bad guys from the Mando place? Yeah, I've seen these baddies before in Mando. Oh, these well, guys have jumped in- bikers. Look at them. They got like leather jackets. They Thanks. are like space bikers. Whoa, what? Dig your own graves. I think I spotted that poor Greedo guy. His fingers are all flimpy and floopy, so when he was digging there, the, oh, the gloves were all like fucking up. You, you see that? They're all wibbly wobbling. Yeah. Like they're not actually fingers. Yeah. <laughs> I would like a drink. Dude. Man, you wasted You're so much of You're wasting all of it. What the fuck? You don't look cool when you do that. You just waste water. Yeah. Oh, maybe we're on top of a sandworm. Maybe. That looks like a... Yeah, it looks like a... Critter. Critter. Well, he wasn't long for this world. What a... What Yo, crit? it's an orc from Lord of the Rings. Oh, look at oh, this. What the fuck? What? It's Machamp. See you, chump. What the heck? Oh god, Whoa! dude, you're done. What? You are done. Yeah, how are you <laughs> alive? It. So what, does this thing just sit out in the desert and wait to eat unsuspecting? What do these cre what do these creatures eat in this barren dune wasteland? Hey, they, they eat this little water bulb thing. Well, that's not gonna do anything. I guess he's just gonna strangle him. I don't see how else they can end this. No, what are you doing? Do just you want fall it to backwards. choke you? Just go yeah. fall backwards. Yeah. Fall, yeah, just fall backwards. Ah, uh, like, can't reach back. <laughs> what do you mean you can't reach back? Got him. There you go. Wow. Wow, that was so shit. I can't even describe how lame that was. <laughs> oh, we get our shot. I am so cool. I am Chain Man. Oh, he's doing a little kid vision of the yell. How'd you cut his head off? Uh, just pulled real hard on the chain. <laughs> Yo, I traded one of our prisoners for this head. <laughs> That's actually a good point. They'll be like, what happened to the other guy? <laughs> He's dead. I mean, surely they're gonna want the corpse to, I guess, eat, possibly, right? Yeah, like trophies and stuff, I imagine. All the cool fangs. I'd want some of those. I like, I like he's coming yeah, back I, like, yeah, I did that. I ain't I cool? They just immediately knock him out and tie him up. <laughs> like, I, I inexplicably free. killed this creature with a chain. <laughs> what if they, they actually don't have a language? They just make noises at yeah. each other. <laughs> you have earned our respect, Boba of House Fett. I guess we are gonna get a lot of flashbacks in this show then. I'm guessing we're gonna get a whole. Yeah, they'll be persistent. Yeah, I'm done with this. You throw it away. <laughs> this might be. Cherish it. So, why did they capture him? I guess as a slave, Water's but team? now they like respect him as a warrior. That's all I got.
Okay. Oh, that's it. That was that. That was. Oh, we got oh, the same of course. sort of. Of credits. course, written by John Favreau, created by John. That's that's oh, the problem. Okay. So it's not written by Robert Rodriguez at all. I I I don't know why I thought that. Yeah. So we're gonna get the exact same thing as Mando. Yeah. I mean, we can already see that here. Yeah. It's a little bit different, but not much. Need a few action scenes per episode, and you know. Well, yeah, we got our second action scene was fighting that thing. Well, I mean, we technically got three. Uh, which is the third one? The little duel, and then the fight in Tatooine. Like, oh, I the, guess, I guess city. so. Yeah. I, the duel sucks. But... <laughs> it always yeah, just feels to else. me like there's almost like a lack of confidence in their ability to keep people's attention without action scenes. Oh yeah, definitely. But then which they have these long because... sections where they just dig for seeds, and I'm like, which what? is because nothing's did... happening. Like they're not talking yeah. to each other about differing perspectives. There's nothing really going on. I'm not learning it's about a... these characters. I'm not. It's it's I'm... yeah. We're not exploring Bizarre. this world. We're not exploring it's... this potentially hugely rich world. I want to know about the inner workings of establishing a criminal underground network to build it back. Because obviously, when Jabba dies. Everyone else is going to scramble for control, and Absolutely, so yeah. it's probably going to split up into a certain amount. And jo and, and Boba is going to be one of them. And maybe he has the palace inexplicably, but that's all he has. He has to establish that he's someone who needs to be feared. Because as it stands now, he's just a guy with a chick in this palace. And a couple and I guess Gamorrean he, gods. Yes, I feel like just real gangsters wouldn't put up with this shit. They'd be well, like, oh, we're just going to shoot them. Absolutely. W what a shame that we couldn't open with, like, he's like, haha, I'm the leader. And then it's like, you you are joking. All you did was kill yeah. this guy who, by the way, had friends. There's a reason he was on that throne. Many friends. Well, yeah, just, there's... You understand that this is not... You got problems, my friend. Like, you, you got You have a lot, a lot of people who want with. to take the stuff that you just took. Yeah. Yeah. You don't just you get to, to walk into a palace and kill one guy, and it's just all yours now. Well, just, I feel like the fundamental thing is it's safe, to, you mentioned it before, it's safe to assume that Jabba's, like, his empire is, is fractured. You need to, like, you got a lot of people you need to think about, like, working with to try and reorganize everything, but we don't want to do that, because that's, like, complicated. We can't it's have It's complicated, and what, it what, involves what, talking and dialogue. There's the scene of them standing over a table with a big map, and it's like, alright, so this is what Jabba's empire looks like. This yeah, is what this is like the Gorfax section guy. over here. Moss exactly. Bluebee belongs to the Jingjongs. Like, well, this is the gambling town. Like, this is, you know, we got a lot of casinos, we got a lot of um, bars and things like that. And this is more industry over here. And it's like, okay, let's, you know, let's mark them off the map. Let's, it, like a video game, it's like, here's our problems. All right, let's deal with them one at a time. And then have economics are half your concern. Like, I know how That's to command boring, respect. Right? I, well, it would be such a great dynamic it's where we have to get a character. You need bookkeepers, you know, you need logistics and financiers and. You need to yeah. you need to make money, and you have to continuously be making money, and you need to ensure that people do what they need to do, and you need to either have them understand that if they double cross you, they're going to get killed, or they need to be in a position where it's mutually beneficial for everyone that he's in charge. Some kind of a system, right? But you just don't have any of that. He's just in charge now, and that's and that's just that. Well, it blows you know? my mind that they've got one person so far that's basically like you're not the boss of me and he's like what yeah you're just a guy who <laughs> like, showed yeah, you up just showed up who the fuck are you who are you why would i course, give you that's, tribute that's the that's honestly what's fucking missing right now is like why not learn about this place that you apparently want to be the crime lord of it's betraying how stupid this is it's like oh yes i am the crime lord this is gonna be great it's gonna be awesome do you know anything about tatooine apparently not you even like he seems to be confused that there's even a mayor this is a post empire world yeah. You know, how is that going to play into it? Again, we talked about this briefly in Mando. They might not care politically for the Empire. They probably don't give a shit. But Imperial credits are a big deal. It's like, oh, now that the Empire is gone, you know, we have to worry about currency rates and what are we going to pay people in and da da da. This could cause, you know, a mass devaluing of money because there's no longer a government to back up the value of this currency. What are we going to do? Well, we can do this and that. Like these things are interesting. Yeah. Instead of these super dumb fights that make no sense. Because next episode we're going to interrogate that one guy and he's going to tell us uh, 
he was sent by Bibbly Bobble, and then we go get him, and then he was. It's, it's not the mayor. It turns out it's a third faction who's trying to sow discontent between the mayor and Boba. Something, something like that. Yeah. Like I think they're going to keep it simple. When in reality, there would be several factions. Many of them would have been trying to take Jabba's palace as like a stronghold. Like mm -hmm. we're supposed to just accept that Bib Fortuna took over, which is like okay, I guess. Didn't seem like the type from what we saw. It looked more so like just a servant, like a Grima Wim Tongue sort of thing at most, but uh, okay. And then he just killed him after however long. And again, I'm surprised there's not some kind of martial law or some kind of like, hey, you just killed him. You can't do that. Like, otherwise, yeah, I mean, why that, aren't everyone you know, killing each other here? <laughs> Because I know we like to say the wild, wild west, but like if you killed someone, they you'd get killed. You you couldn't do that. You They'd have entire <laughs> towns where you had to turn over your guns, and there was a very strict no breaking the rules policy, and you didn't fuck around with everybody because everybody had guns and they'd shoot you if you do something. Killing <sighs> someone in general already something I think you shouldn't be able to do, but killing the leader, like uh, I'm pretty sure you're gonna get in serious trouble for that one. Because like, his <laughs> number two is gonna be like, uh, no. And think of the relationships Bib must have had to be on that throne. Mm -hmm. Exactly. I guess he you didn't have any gods people. that cared about him. It's, it's so strange. And like, I think the show just wants you to be like, we're, we're done. We, we've done that. He's the leader of that area. There are going to be people in other areas that he's going to have to fight. Okay. And you're like, okay. And his legendary Gamorrean gods, man, the oh, with their little... There's no conversation in Jabba's palace, Bib's palace, where he <laughs> is sitting down with a couple advisors who were in the palace or whatever. Like, he's only got a few people to start with, and he's got a little bit of an element of surprise because he killed Bib, maybe. He's like, okay, what do we have as leverage? What do we have to work with? What are our resources? Like, well, we have these stockpiles and these stockpiles. We have approximately this many of this currency, this many of this currency, this many of this currency. Here's our armament. This is, here's the stock of what we have in the palace. It's like, okay, so what do we do with this? How do we go and do other things? How do we get people to, there's no, there's none of that. He's going to want to hire people who used to work for Jabba immediately because they'll know their shit. And, it'd be, and you could even use the fact that he'd probably know at least a decent amount, but he seems to be kind of unaware of anything here. And I know that it, things may have changed since Jabba's time, but there's got to be some stuff that he's aware of. Like, there's got to be some connections he's got here, which would be cool to make use of. Maybe they will, who knows, but like, this is not a good start. And pretty much what start. I expected. Yeah, that's pretty much what I expected. It's interesting to watch these and have them be so wildly different than what we would do. Yeah. Because we're like, we're not going to yeah. waste half the episode with him digging in the fucking sand. We're not going to start off with flashbacks, all right? Because no. we have to establish that he is in charge, or at least he is working towards being in charge. Because the now is more important than the what happened then. We can get to that later, all right? We can bait that, but we have work to do. It's we funny, because I would always already be thinking about repairs. I'd be like, right, so we're going to have to write it so that whoever, Bib Fortuna being in charge, like the people who really matter in Tatooine didn't care about him. They just had him there as a sort of puppet. That's how we can explain that, and that's how he was killed so easily without anyone caring. That's going to have to be our reasoning. Yeah, Bib wasn't really in charge of anything. It was really um, this guy. It was guy just an old who, palace. Yeah. yeah, it's an old palace. It, you know, it fell into disrepair these last couple decades. No one really lives there. It's not an ideal location for a few things. It's been ransacked, and it's been emptied of all of its stuff. There's a few people who hang out there, but it's just, you know, it's just some people. You know, it's this will be our base. We'll build. It's like a video game. We'll build up this base. And we'll add people to it, and it'll become great again, and it'll be full of stuff, and we're going to have CGI singers, and it's going to be great, and we're going to get a rancor. Things will be the tits. Mm -hmm. But that's going to be something we have to work for, because we have shit to do. We gotta go talk to people. We gotta go make connections. We gotta go see what the po who hates who. Who, who, who wants who to take out this here. guy? Who wants to Exactly. Who who hates who? Who can we use on our side to leverage against other sides? What resources do we have to bargain with? What can I do with my personal skill set to, you know, ensure? Th oh, I've got this master assassin, allegedly. That's my right hand woman. That could be really useful. You know, um, who, who knows what we could do? Maybe we could be clever and try to set up an assassination and frame it on another one of the houses or another one of the crime lords. And so they get at each other's throats and they start fighting. And then that means that they're worried with about each other and things of that nature. None of that. It's all just like, eh. How do we get it so he doesn't have a helmet? It's because he go he gives it away to be cleaned and then there's coins in it. And so he can't quite put it on. And so he drops it and then they'll take his coins. He's like okay i wouldn't have left that thing without a bag i'd be like thank you it's so bizarre to, I need to a keep bag. his helmet off 
and I feel like we're going to get lots of that as this show progresses, unfortunately, with how badly, badly done that was. Or they'll just ignore he has a jetpack, as per usual. It's like, you've been blocked on all sides. It's like, um... Except up. What about up? <laughs> like, can do they don't up. know which way's up out there. Uh, yeah, that's true. Well, that's Boba Fett, Book of Boba Fett, episode mm. one. Yeah, it was yeah. shit. Um... I don't think it's I don't I don't even know if it's worse than the first episode of Mandalorian honestly I just don't I think it's it might be better just because so little happens still very little going for it and it still very managed to fuck that up it. low score but I, I don't know what I would actually give it number wise I don't know I just <laughs> here we go again <laughs> yeah a bit another amazing show same damn production for every one of them. Goodbye, everybody. Yeah, goodbye. Bye. What you bring, 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 what you bring.